You know what I'd like to hear? I would like to see you do some A-B testing, A-B-X testing of DAX. Because so many people are all about these DAX and the different types of DAX. I wonder if... Yeah, I... I uh, yeah, that's a pet peeve of mine, man. Until somebody starts like actually doing ABX testing on these things, I don't want to hear them say a thing. Like I just don't. Like I'm just so sick of it, man. It's just a bunch of bullshit. It's all can I, in the name to sell the cheapest shit you can get somebody to impulse buy, so you can make four percent on your Amazon affiliate link, and it just annoys ooh. the hell out of me. Like I hate it. So, huh? Yeah. Well, that's the yeah. difference between like the Wim uh, Pro versus the regular. Wim streamer, right? Right. There's a Pro Plus, and then there's another one. It's the difference of the DAX, and I'm like, I want to see a legitimate no, I, test. If if you're going to talk about for me to get into now, that, I want to know that I'll you did a to do it. blind test. Otherwise, I'd be interested. Yeah, I, I'm not saying I wouldn't do it. I'm just saying, like, if I were going to, I'm happy to do it. I just got to find the desire to do something like that. Sure. But then it may, immediately makes me think of all these guys out there who are like. Oh, this thing sounds so much better. It sounds this and this and this. And it's like now having done a whole bunch of blind ABX testing, I can tell you that they're probably completely wrong. Like they're just making stuff up because it's so freaking hard to tell the difference in a lot of these things. Mm -hmm. And they're and they're most of the time, man, you can't tell a difference. Like what if you no can though? Tell. What if you I can though? Oh, you can tell it's on the Yamaha versus Wim, right? So there is yeah, you can yeah. Like that's a, the revelation that's is different. you could hear the difference in the class D and all the audio files that were complaining. Ah, oh, the class D sounds well, a certain way. Maybe they were using something like some weird speaker. No, but no, because I was using, then I also did an ABX test with the March audio. There's a class D to the Yamaha and I couldn't tell the difference there. But I'm wondering if these people are using like some some older class D stuff, and that's their experience. Maybe. And they played it on some speaker that was really weird load, and like made the made the treble do whatever they said they heard. Like, Maybe. oh yeah, the treble sounds a certain way, and they're like, actually, you're right. It did do that. It could. Yeah, I'm not saying dude. that it poss it can't possibly, but as far as reviewers, um, I want to see them do. I want to see them do blind tests. Like, I'm just so tired of seeing these stupid titles and these dumb things for clickbait. It's like, man, you know, you can't tell the difference, you know, like just you, and if you can prove it, it's not hard to prove it. If you can tell a difference, prove it. It's done. I think it's a lot Paul, Paul said it best. If it, if you can hear a difference, then you can measure a difference. Right. Yeah. So and, and, and you know what? I think it's about self-awareness a lot of times because I know on Cobas when I see it, it shows like high res. Like yeah. I get a little thing inside that's like, like I get a little bit happy, like as if like, oh, this is gonna be a better experience now. If it's a CD, I'm like, ah, you know, it doesn't have the little versus high res. High res, I'm like, <laughs> I I don't really believe that I can hear that difference, but it makes me kind of happy to see the little logo. You might be able to, and then there's mm -hmm. the side of it, like if you think you can, that's fine. But and, and that's the difference between what I'm talking about is an average consumer who just mm -hmm. gets joy out of feeling whatever they feel about thinking they heard something. I don't care versus a reviewer who's saying these things are definitive, you know, and I'm not even thinking about anybody in particular. I've just seen enough of it to where I'm just sick of it. Like I'm tired mm. of YouTube telling me sick and tired that I need shit, to see man. this thing. It's like, it's just another shit. dipshit who's yeah. saying stuff that he has no idea. He doesn't know the first thing about any of this stuff. Yeah. And no. he's just, but go buy this because this thing is, so much better than this other thing and you're missing the boat if you don't buy it it's just mm -hmm. it's preying on people's fomo you know their fear of missing out and yep. got right. the next best thing yeah yeah yep. and aaron's new product the, the abx tester yeah yeah my abx tester <laughs> eric's new product <laughs> the best speaker ever made hey where can uh, i do you have an affiliate link for an abx tester nope maybe i'm sure I, I start pushing those things hard <laughs> <laughs> you should uh, that was hilarious. Hilarious. That'd be funny. <laughs> that that would be hilarious, dude. Oh, um, but yeah, to answer your I'll question, buy one. I'll testing, testing decks. I mean, I'd be cool doing it. What I really want to do is set up something for um, like people to come out either maybe not at my house, but try to rent out like a venue or something. And not uh, my house. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, no, I don't want to do it at my house unless it's people that I know like have friends over and have them be part of an ABX test and then do maybe like an amplifier 
ABX test one time, and then maybe a few months later do some DAC testing, and then you know just do that and then record all their results and say, okay, here's the results. Like I, that's what I really want to do. I just got to schedule it. Mm-hmm. That would be fun. Why are you? You don't want somebody at your house or like somebody that you you said something to in the comment. You never oh, know. No, man. If somebody showed up at my house and I said something to in a comment, and they're going to try to roll up on me in my house. <laughs> First of all, this is Alabama. <laughs> trying to roll up on me, son. Like, dude, I mean, it's it's not smart. A- yesterday, no, I just made phone, up. Aaron said that there's all kinds of stuff happening in Alabama. Yeah, y'all I, even like, know. Y'all I like even burst know. out into sister. laughter. Yep. Uh, no, in all seriousness, though, I just I was just thinking, ha- trying to have more than like five or six people in my house and partake in something like that, it would just be probably noisy. Yeah. You know, like, all right, everybody go outside while this guy does this test. And your cha- your channel's starting to blow up. You know, you don't want to, hey, I got some new Calf Blade 2 metas in. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's probably not a great idea. Yeah. Nobody needs to know where you're at. Um, Some people are still saying, like, there are variables in the test, Uh, you know, our, our AB test, ABX test, uh, what's the flaw in it? Is there is there any area where you think that there's like a, there can be an issue with it? Yeah, you just really have to make sure that you're level matched mm-hmm. as best you possibly can. So I use the microphone and, and do SPL matching. Um, if I'm using the same speakers, I do SPL matching because the, the speaker hasn't changed. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I just do regular old SPL matching with a mic. Okay. If I'm trying to do different speakers that have their own frequency response, then an SPL meter probably isn't enough. Then I, then I switch over to use an actual RTA and I try to align it from like 300 to three K as best I can. But that would, that would be tougher, you know, cause frequency mm-hmm. response is going to deviate from speaker to speaker anyway. Um, the thing, other thing too, is that the relays when they click, sometimes they're loud and mm-hmm. they can be distracting. So you don't have that silent clicking. So, you know you're clicking, like you know you're switching over to something, but you have no idea what it is. So it's no, not no. the fact that you know something changed. It's just for that second, you hear those relays and they're so loud, it's not a smooth, seamless transition to the yeah. other thing. And it kind of throws you off for a split second. Make sure to check out our audio-only version of the podcast at anchor.fm forward slash daily hi-fi, or just go to your favorite podcasting service and search for daily hi-fi.